What's going on there, guys? Good evening. Uh, it is the Earthmaster here with uh, Missy Mimis. How's it going, guys? We are uh, here on the live stream. Going to do an update video here on this uh, beautiful Sunday evening. It is November the uh, 21st, 2021. A lot of 21s there in that date. About 6.11 p.m. California time and the latest earthquake coming into the South Sandwich Islands, a 5.2 earthquake. This comes after a 4.9 a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity down there in the South Sandwich Trench. Let's go ahead and check out the latest earthquake activity here on the map from the USGS folks. Shows that uh, red circle indicating that South Sandwich Islands region earthquake into the subduction zone here of the South Sandwich Trench. Both of these earthquakes down there uh, about 39, 35 kilometers uh, into the subduction area. A little bit of uh, movement definitely picking up in that area. Uh, also, the South America region and the West Coast all seeing some heightened earthquake activity while the Western Pacific remains awfully quiet. Look at the quiet spell throughout the region here, including the Aleutian Islands all looking pretty quiet on the 2.5 and above. If we bring down the all magnitudes, there's still not a whole lot of movement along the Aleutian Trench. Look at that. Very quiet throughout the Gulf of Alaska as well. So looking at the west coast, right off the bat, we did have another earthquake off the coast of Oregon again um, in the same area where we've seen that uh, four-pointer yesterday. Today, a 4.4 earthquake at uh, 10 kilometers below the surface. Yesterday, we seen an earthquake out there in the Blanco Fracture area as well. That was a 4.6, so a little bit of movement kicking up in that area of the Pacific just off the coast of Oregon. Cascadia subduction zone sits here. But overall, a uh, seismic increase in pressure along the West Coast continues with a uh, well, lack of activity in the Pacific Northwest. Very, uh, very quiet up there as well. The uh, main area, California, roughly uh, you can draw that line once again from San Francisco up through Reno southward, all showing some uh, heightened earthquake activity, although not as much as yesterday. In fact, things look like they're really calming down throughout the Antelope Valley area and Long Valley Supervolcano and not quite as active in the Nevada region either uh, but uh, still looking at uh, some seismic activity which stretched all the way down to the Gulf of California once again with a 4.2 striking uh, late last night early this morning um, into the uh, Gulf region some further activity throughout uh, Southern California it looks like and uh, Right around the Los Angeles, actually Simi Valley area, San Fernando, Santa Clarita area, seeing a little microquake with a 1.3 microquake there striking within the last hour. Um, Salt and Sea areas all look pretty quiet. Uh, no swarming to report in this region, but still overall uh, pretty active it looks like throughout the west coast. Also inland into the uh, parts of Texas, <clears throat> Pecos, Texas area. Still seeing some further movement, uh, quite a few twos kicking off there in the uh, region of Pecos, Texas. This area sees quite a bit of movement throughout, uh, well, it's been like a, a past few months or so. Here's the last 30 days of activity of the all magnitudes. You can see a pretty large cluster of quakes, about 177 earthquakes here in Texas uh, within the last 30 days, all magnitudes mapped there. Uh, but today, like I said, a few twos kicking up also throughout the Oklahoma area. I'm sure throughout the uh, fracking operational zones, all seen, all seen uh, um, earthquake activity kind of ramping up here over the last 24 hours. New Madrid area, pretty quiet. Uh, looks like the Appalachian uh, Mountains, North Carolina region, seen a couple small twos out there. Relatively shallow earthquakes as well, just outside the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, 2.6 seems to be, at least right now, the large or uh, up here the largest quake so far in this little activity here in the eastern part of the country. Puerto Rico pretty quiet. No more earthquakes around the Puerto Rico Trench except for the southwest area of Puerto Rico. Quite a few twos kicking up there. Here's the South America map. Uh, some subduction zone quakes it looks like along the Peru-Chile Trench with uh, quite a few fours kicking off there um, over the last 24 hours. Pretty quiet through the uh, northwestern part, Pacific Ring, also the western part. We are seeing a little bit of activity that kicked up uh, late last night, early this morning, throughout the Kermadec Trench and uh, around the Fiji Islands area. But things pretty quiet, if you really think about it, as far as deep movement and general activity here in the uh, 
in this area the Pacific Ring of Fire. So yeah, the western part is very quiet. And it has been for quite some time, but this is just uh, extraordinarily quiet here. Um, Hawaii is kicking up a little bit. Southeast area, it looks like southeast flank. Uh, there is one little earthquake around the Loihi Seamount. This one uh, is a, what do we got here? 2.0, just off, just right off the uh, Loihi Seamount area, the Caldera region. Three point, or, uh, what do we got here? About 10 kilometers below surface, pretty deep movement. Uh, for that earthquake activity out there but uh, overall I think the general activity is still watching the west coast folks for some further movement um, unless we see some major deep activity over here I think we're kind of on guard uh, X marks the spot for right now South America North America plate uh, for some further activity the Yellowstone map kind of gives us a little view of some swarming activity earlier uh, throughout the day you can see some microquake activity kind of kicking up there around Yellowstone National Park that has since dropped off over the last few hours very quiet conditions prevailing uh, but that earthquake activity did show up throughout the northwest corner of the park looks like it's centered over the Purple Mountain uh, Norris Junction location there for the epicenters all other areas look pretty quiet the trimmer map let's see what time we got here I believe this has been updated. It should by now. Of course, this shows zero epicenters, and uh, I think last night was pretty much about the same, zero as well. So things are uh, very quiet, and that would kind of explain the lack, um, the lack of activity in the Pacific Northwest as well. Uh, no subduction uh, quakes, no tremor, no hardly any activity throughout the Pacific Northwest, even on the all magnitudes map here. Um, and that's uh, kind of a kind of an interesting little little ordeal they're having up there. No trimmer, no surface quaking. What's preventing the trimmer? It's hard to say exactly, but uh, things are still kind of ramping up here along the west coast. As I mentioned, southward though, so, uh, right around California area. Um, what else we have here? Mediterranean Sea areas in this region of the world look pretty quiet. As far as any changes there at La Palma, things look to be uh, ongoing and still about the same far as seismic activity goes zooming into the uh, uh, areas around the Canary Islands most of this earthquake activity on the map here around La Palma of course all this is over here see on the list over the last couple hours or so continued earthquake activity around the Canary Islands Spain region Quite a few th threes and twos kicking up. No major changes there. T changes at the moment at La Palma. Just kind of watching that and uh, seeing how that plays out with the uh, quiet conditions around the globe at the moment here. Except for the North American plate. It's uh, kind of active at the moment here. What else we got as far as space weather goes? Things looking pretty quiet on the sun. Not a whole lot going on. Coronal Hole is... Uh, what do we got here for coronal holes? Kind of facing away from us. There is a larger one up here to the north. Uh, nothing really earth directed. A little sunspot is facing earth, but that does not appear to be uh, producing any type of significant flaring. Looks like only a 10% chance of flare activity uh, as far as sea flare goes uh, in the coming days. So pretty quiet conditions on the sun. That uh, should change. We'll see if it uh, decides to wake up or not. Uh, what else we got out here, Missy Mimi's? Anything you can think of? Uh, other than West Coast on on target, you know, and watching the uh, other areas that are too quiet. Nothing much. Nothing much else going on. Really, Kilauea is still still uh, <clears throat> orange watch is showing there. Yeah, not a whole lot. We haven't no. seen too much earthquake activity. Like the earthquakes there in, in Tahala were kicking up today, but like now all of a sudden they've kind of stopped. So, but they were kicking up pretty good this morning. I just noticed like within the past hour or so, they've just been kind of quiet. Alrighty guys, we're going to jump off here and enjoy the rest of the Sunday evening. Hope everyone has a good day out there. Good night, good evening. And uh, we will chat you guys another time. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace out. Peace out.